how to create free online store on Squarespace. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your online store using Squarespace. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to squarespace.com and you will land on this platform right here. Squarespace is one of the best website building platform out there that allow you to create your online store, create your blog, portfolios and more. We can simply choose from thousands of different templates to create our own professional store and sell our products online. And this way we will be able to create an online business and get more successful. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the video. First, what you have to do is you will simply get started with Squarespace. You can simply sign up with your Google account. Once you sign up, then you will simply click on get started. It will help you create your online store. The next step is simply selecting a template. When we work with a template, it becomes really easy for us to create our online store. So we can actually go ahead and filter our search by selecting online store from here. You can also select different niches such as photography, art and design, health and beauty in order to filter your search more. We have food, travel, restaurants and more. So my online store is going to be a health and beauty. So I'm going to select this one. And now you will see that I will get the best template matches for my online store. I can simply go ahead and customize any of these different templates the way I want to. This one looks pretty good. You can also get a preview of the template before you start or you can simply go to the editor. That's what I'm going to do. Simply select the template and now it will take us to our Squarespace editor where we will simply create our online store very easily. Now we simply will add the title for our website that we are creating for our online store. So this is the name for our brand. Then we will simply go ahead and add different pages. But for now we can actually skip this step and we can just simply go ahead and get to the editor and then I will show you everything. Now you can see this is our editor and this is the template that I chose. I actually went with a very simple looking template not to complicate things. So this is our template right here. These are the different things that we need to do before we get into the editor. So we have pages option. If we go to pages, we will be able to check all the pages included into our online store. So we have services page. Then we have a team page, we have health and safety because we were in health niche and then we have a book and appointment. So and then we have contact portfolio and store. So this is the main menu right here. What I need to do now is that in the main navigation, I will actually enter store because we're creating an online store right here. And then we can just simply go ahead and select from these different store options. So I'm going to select the store too and it will be added right here you can see it's called store 2 but i'm gonna again call it i will add the name for my brand so now we have a store page to our website we do not sell services so what i will do now is i will actually go ahead and delete this page and why i'm actually arranging my pages first because that actually makes our work very easy and then we can just simply work with the pages we want to add so what you need to do is simply click on delete option from here, click on confirm and it will be deleted. Similarly, we do not have a team option. So I will click on confirm again. So this actually shows us that we can actually customize our pages the way we want to. We can actually customize the template that we have selected the way we want to. We don't need to, you know, go for the basic template. So now we have home page, we have our store. We have our own information about the page. So that's actually good. This is going to be the information about my business. And then we have book appointment. So we don't book appointments. But what we can do is we can we actually have online courses like for our makeup courses. So that's why I'm going to add this page as well. Once you're done with the pages, now you will simply select the page you want to edit. So we will simply go to a home page first and simply click on edit when you see the page right here and it will allow you to edit the page now. So I can add different sections to this page. I can add different pictures. I can edit the text. So the first thing is going to be selecting this section right here. And I will simply because this is not what our brand is. So I'm going to just simply go ahead and type in the name for our brand. And then we also have a tagline for our brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 
tagline right here. You can see there is a section. All right, so this is my tagline right here. Now what I'm going to do is you can see that this is actually not centered aligned. So I'm going to make it centered aligned. Now you can theme actually looks pretty good, but the color, this brown color is not giving me the vibe because what we go for, we actually go for a purple color for our brand. So that's what I'm going to do now. You simply select a section you can see right here. And now what I can do is I can click on added section option, go to background. And you can see right here, it does not have any image right now, this full background. So I will go to edit, simply go to art. And now I can actually go ahead and select from different artwork as well if I want to. Or we can simply go for colors. So I will go for colors and you can see that these different colors are available. So I'm going to go for the lightest one. I don't want to go for a dark one. So we're going to go with this bluish color because it matches our theme. Uh, we have purple and bluish theme for our brand. So I'm going to go ahead and I will select this one. And we can simply go for different animations, spacing for the background as well. So I have actually selected the pattern because it kind of looks really good. The next thing is that editing this picture right here. Now this section is actually pretty big and they have th this section right here, which is like there is no need for this section. So what I'm going to do is this space, I am actually going to delete this space from here and I'm going to click on remove now. This image is pretty big. The first step is going to be deleting the image and I will add a section by myself. So now this is our header and it looks pretty good. I will actually add an image right here. This is also an image section where they have an image and then they have this text. For an online store, we don't need all of this. So I'm going to just simply click on remove. And then we have different settings here. Simply to add a section on a Squarespace, you simply click on add section. And then you simply select a section such as a blank space, image, code, videos, donations, whatever you want to. So now I will actually move on to the next page, which is the most important page for our online store. And that is going to be the main store page. Simply select the page and click on edit. It will take you to edit your page, your store. So you can see right here, we have all of these different products right here. Now, these are not the products that I sell. We sell the beauty products. So the first thing that we need to do is we will simply click on any of the different, you know, products. So you can simply open up the product page like this and you will see all of your products right here. To add a new product, you will find the option right here. Click on add product. Now you have to select what kind of product you want to add. If you want to add a physical product, digital service, membership or scheduling. So we're selling a physical product. Now what you have to do is you will simply enter the product name. So this is the name for our product. Simply click on add image and it will allow you to add image from your computer. Once you have added the product image, then you can simply click on next. And then you're going to type in the price. You're going to select the quantity and then you can also add unlimited quantity. After that, you will simply click on more details and in more details, we can simply add description, inventory, we get our SKU, we have organization, visibility, where we can find featured product, related product or product reviews. Then we can also work on the marketing with SEO and URLs. So you can see right here that this is going to be the URL for my product and it looks amazing you can see this is my product name and this is my brand name so we get a very professional url when we're creating products right here on squarespace then we have checkout so with checkout you can go with a custom button option that we have then we have custom forms we can actually add different forms for people to buy our product and then we have subscription so we don't have subscription i'm gonna not focus on that so we have custom forms right here and with buying, I don't want to complicate things for my buyers. So I'm not going to add that as well. Once you're done with all the settings, you simply click on save. And once you click on save, your product is added to Squarespace. So this is the product that I just created and you can see right here, it is our 
Beauty Blender. Now, similarly, you can import your product list from your different stores if you already have one. So, you, so this is my product right here. This is my blenders and we have different quantities if people want to buy and they can just add the quantity and they will simply click on add to cart and they will be able to buy products from my store. So similarly, you can set up products like this. You can also set up your store with these different steps because when it comes to adding a store, it's different than creating a simple website you can add your etsy you can add your instagram your own website you can add your facebook right here and you can also add that if you're selling in person so simply click on next and how many sales you're doing you can actually add these different things right here you will find the option and then you will be able to simply go ahead and uh, set up your store these are the different uh, steps you have to follow add a way to get paid we have how to fulfill your order subscription and add a product so this is how you simply go ahead ahead and create a store on Squarespace. If I was a big help, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.